my friends, long time since I was here to speak about this word of God. I want to trust that you have been doing well and God has held you even during these times of the pandemic. He has kept you safe. And so here we are today to continue uh, to learn more about his promises. That even in times like this, in times of COVID-19, God is still faithful. He will keep his word and so keep your side of the bargain. And today we want to talk more about his promises and that you and I are children of the promise. We're going to break that down, and those that are going to help us to understand it even in much detail are our brother Robert Nyerandi. Kindly say hi to the viewer. I greet you in the name of Jesus, and Amen. welcome. Amen, and thank you so much, Elder. It's been too long since mm -hmm. you're in this studio. Kindly say hi to the viewer. Hi, uh, welcome, and God bless. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Robert, kindly open this with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Our Father and Lord mm -hmm. in heaven, we Thank you for this privilege you've given us to study from your word at, at thy feet, O oh Lord. It is our prayer, the Lord, as we open the Holy Scriptures, your Holy Spirit will illustrate these things in our mm. minds. And mm. the Lord, we will know <coughs> you more better than we have ever known you. O oh Lord, you are God who keeps your promises. Mm. May you start with us till the end, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you so much uh, for those powerful prayers and thank you viewer for joining us kindly stay tuned and share the link to your brothers and sisters and your family and other members including your colleagues so they can be blessed together with you just tell them to tune in now when we talk about the promise we know that God has made promises all the way from when uh, when you read your Bible from the book of Genesis to the very end in Revelation and as we study this quarter's lesson, I would want to continue to en uh, encourage us that we'll dwell more on what it is in the Old Testament, but this Old Testament still remains to be the word of God. And the promise that he made to his children, his sons, his daughters, are the same that he makes to us today. It's just for ours for the taking mm -hmm. and for claiming <coughs> in faith, and they shall be ours. God has made a number of promises, my brother, my sister, as we are going to to study today and his promises are divine he has made what we call and uh, robert will tell us this more about a uh, covenant of promises mm. that him it's about him and us mm. and not us actually god makes a promise to you as an individual mm. yes so that you claim it by yourself like mm -hmm. you're the only one who existed mm -hmm. god has given us uh, promises of divine presence promises of blessings for families uh, promises of um, of uh, uh, having a great nation promises of a great name and many many other promises we want to say this and so elder uh, Omaya, as you start us off I allow me to read the key text which says lo I am with you all this even unto the end of the world yeah. and this even comes at the time of the New Testament this is Christ himself yeah and so if he's telling it's a present it's current mm. so elder help someone who's at home I, I, and uh, is it a promise um he's saying i am with you always you? even unto the end <laughs> this is a promise or a covenant what it is <laughs> tell us <laughs> thank you my elder and uh, thank you viewer hello i am with you always even unto the end of the yes. world mm. that's a sweet promise yes that god promised you remember when he was going to heaven and um, the disciples were, you know, the disciples were so much saddened. And, um, mm. and Christ, yeah, and he promised them, I will send you what? I I, that was a sweet a promise. Mm. And it fulfilled in this world that I'll be with you always to the end of the, end of the world. But as uh, we start this, these promises are meant for him. Mm. You know, John 3.16 says that for God so loved the world. Yes. You know, the first part of that verse, that God so loved the, the world. world. The world encompasses Everybody, and everybody and everything, yes. that God loved it. But then the second part is conditional. Mm. That so, so, so that whosoever, whosoever believeth in him should have mm. eternal mm. life. There is a promise at the end that we should have eternal life. But mm. is it for the whole world or it's for the, the whosoever, mm. whosoever? Whosoever believeth. Mm. So, so if the entire world believeth, mm. yes. so be it. Mm. If yes. few, so, so be, be it. Gone. So and then as we come to this, the children of the promise. Mm. So as we realize in John 3, 16, the promise is for those so whoever who believes in, in God. Him. Then mm. as we believe in God, we become partakers of the promise that right. is given to Abraham because we become, and I would like to start with Romans Go chapter on, 8, yep. verse 17. Mm. 
you know God said to the to, to that he himself was Abraham's reward. Mm -hmm. And if we were if we are Christ, then we are Abraham's seed automatically. And Romans 8 17 says we are heirs of God mm -hmm. and joint heirs with who? With, with Christ. Christ. Yeah. Yeah. The same inheritance that is mentioned by the psalmist in Psalm 16, 8, the Lord is the portion of my inheritance. Mm -hmm. eh? And so here again we find a link between that connects all God's people with Abraham. Yes. Their hope is nothing else but the promise God gave to him. Mm -hmm. Yes, that the Lord is the portion of my inheritance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Romans 8, 16 says, The Spirit itself bears witness yes. with our spirit that we are the children of God. Mm -hmm. And if children, that is verse 17, yes. then if children, yeah. it's the children if of the promise. Children. Are you really? yes. Children of the, that oh. is our title. Mm -hmm. And if children, because we are children of God, then if you are children, then if children, then hairs. Mm -hmm. And then hairs of what? Hairs of God, but joint hairs with Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not just enough to be children. Mm -hmm. and it's even more prestigious mm -hmm. to be a hair, yes. and not just a hair, mm -hmm. but a core hair with Christ himself. Mm -hmm. so, but uh, uh, explain it even further. You know, so long as we are living in the world of sin, yes. mm -hmm. but there I don't know whether you realize that the promises of God start from, if I'm not wrong, from Genesis chapter 3 after mm -hmm. sin. Yeah, mm -hmm. from Beca 15 there. Uh, because <laughs> then God wants to give us hope even in the world of sin. Mm. Right. Now, God tells Abraham this uh, in the book of Genesis chapter 15, reading verse 1. Mm. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision saying, mm -hmm. Fear not, Abraham. I am thy shield and mm -hmm. thy exceeding great, great reward. reward. Mm -hmm. Now, if you read that verse on the surface, you, in, in the surface, you, you just think that God is protecting Abraham from the physical harm mm. and danger. You, 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 that person may not be really totally wrong. Because God uh, gives us also the same promise in Zechariah chapter 2, verse 5. He says that, I will be a wall of, vi of fire around oh. about her, talking mm. about uh, Zion. Mm -hmm. So God gives us actually a promise of physical protection. protection. Mm -hmm. But when we are talking about Abraham mm -hmm. and the covenant that is about to happen here, mm. from the point of view of Abraham, when God tells him that I am thy shield, mm. It cannot be physical protection because in chapter 14, Abraham is already from the battle mm -hmm. yes. and God has actually protected him. He went, the Bible says that he went to battle with the people in his household mm -hmm. who are not trained armies. Mm -hmm. But it, then he, get, he got victory. victory. So actually <laughs> what, 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 what God is promising is not physical yes. protection. Mm -hmm. And when he says that I'm um, your exceeding reward, mm -hmm. You will think that ah God wants to bless to bless Abraham with money, mm -hmm. but at this point Abraham already it's, was it's rich. Wealthy, yeah, he's it's wealthy. wealthy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so when God says that I'll be your exceeding reward, it means that Abraham, the covenant, the words that I'm making with you today, mm -hmm. they will actually come to pass. Yes. I'm giving you them so that I'll protect this word to make sure they'll come to pass. Right. Mm -hmm. You remember the great controversy has been for certain to try and clear the lineage of Christ mm -hmm. from happening yes. at, at his birth. That is why you, from the book of Genesis, from the time of Cain and Abel, Satan has always wanted whoever will be in the lineage of the seed try to kill or yes. to destroy it. But God has always found a way to restore that li lineage. Right. So what are we saying? That God is telling Abraham that when I'm telling you that through you and thy seed, all the world will be blessed. Mm -hmm. Abraham, these th things, you may not see them, but they will surely happen. You're right. When God says that I'm thy shield, it means Elder, you will not die. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. a bad word to use. Mm -hmm. But it, it doesn't mean that way. When your time comes, God mm. will allow you to, to, rest. to rest. But yes. still he is your shield. Whatever promises that he has given you, they will surely happen mm. in your lineage. God, 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 uh, lastly, let me give you uh, uh, Psalms 28, 7, so that now we, we apply it to us. The, uh, mm. the Bible says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. 
my heart trusted him and I'm helped. Mm-hmm. So the Lord is my strength. He is right. my shield. <coughs> when we trust in his word, we yes. are helped. Mm-hmm. Right. That is why uh, the, the memory text, Lo, I'm with you. I all the way. It, it, it <coughs> to the end of the age. Yes. Even when you see that the in front of you is total darkness, Absolutely. when we trust that God is with us, God will lead the way. Thank you Thank so much. Ella, Ella has to come in something yes. that uh, Ab- God, st- I, I mm. like the way he opens that verse. I mean, the conversation with Abraham. Mm. He says, fear not. not. Uh. So so that if, uh, if Abraham has any iota of doubt uh-huh. in what God is about to say, mm-hmm. he should get rid of it because uh, yes. it's God who's telling them. And so God is even telling you, viewer, uh, my viewer today, that fear, fear not. not. Yes. So that the things that he has promised us Indeed, as uh, Brother Robert has put it, they will come to pass because God keeps his part of the promise, mm. his part of the bargain, and that's why he will shield all the, uh, the provisions. And you see, like when you write a covenant or an agreement, mm. there, there are terms yes. of uh, what you do, what mm. I'll do, mm. and of course the outcome. God is shielding this covenant mm. so that he is able to fulfill every bit of what he says either during your time or even thereafter, but yes. it will come to pass. Yes. So, Elder, you wanted to add so that we could be able to make some progress. Go I, I, I love when my brother Robert brings the aspect that we should trust on God's word. Mm. And the way you breathe. Mm. Psalms, uh, uh, sorry, Isaiah 41 verse 10. Mm. 41 10. And, and, and this summarizes the word shield. Mm. It says, fear not, just the way you brought it, I am with you. Mm. Uh, be not dismayed for I am your God. Yeah. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous yeah. right hand. Yeah. But then as we read this, how did Abraham trust in this word? Yeah. What was the foundation of God's promise towards Abraham? Yeah. And uh, allow me to read this. You see, the promise which God made to Abraham was not to him only. It was not made to Abraham only, yeah. but to his seed his seed, not seed, mm. to his seed yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. Therefore, Abraham said to the Lord, and this is what Abraham said in Genesis 15 too, mm. what will you give me, mm-hmm. seeing I go childish, childish. and yes. the steward of my house, or he that shall be possessor of my house, is this Elias of Damascus? Mm-hmm. Because Abraham had grown old, mm-hmm. and in him he knew he could not receive a child. Yes. And Abraham said, behold to me, you have given no seed. Mm-hmm. Eh? And, and lo, one born in my house is mine here. Mm. So Abraham did not know the plan of the Lord. Yes. He knew the promise and believed it, but he was old and had no child. Mm. He supposed that the seed promised to him must come through his trusted friend. Yeah. Mm. But mm. something God, God, God had other plans. Mm. You see, Abraham was not to be the pro- progenitor of a race of servants. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He was to be but a progenitor of free men. Mm. Genesis 15, 4 says, And behold, the word of the Lord. Now I want you to capture that. Mm-hmm. Behold, the behold. word, underline the word of oh, the Lord. Oh, uh-huh. Yes. The behold, the word of the Lord came unto him. Mm-hmm. And by that word, this promise is sustained. Mm-hmm. Are you getting? Yes. And the so, of the shield yes. So, <laughs> the shield here being the word of God himself, yes. which sustains us yes. and sustains his creation. And every word that comes from mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God's mouth. Mm-hmm. So, on behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be your hair, mm. but he that shall come forth yes. out of your own belly shall be your hair. And by that word, yes. Abram uh, got a son. Mm. Right. And he brought him before forth. And uh, le- not going to that, but let me jump and say that God promised a great household to Abram, but this house was not to be built upon, mm. the, the, but this house was to be built upon the word of God. Mm. The Lord. And Abraham so understood it. <coughs> and since he understood it and began at once to build, Abraham began at once to build on that word. Mm. And that word was Jesus Christ. And who is the foundation for every promise that God has given? Mm. And just to finish up, 1 Corinthians 3, 11 says, Other foundation can no man lay mm. that is laid, uh-huh. which is Jesus Christ, Christ. which is laid. So even Abraham, the house of Abraham, is the house of God, which is in Ephesians 2, 20, build upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, mm. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Mm. Um, thank you, Ella. You brought it so well. And, uh, and, and actually, 15.4 that you mentioned, mm. 
uh, took me all the way to 55, 11 of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. That clearly says that so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. Mm -hmm. It shall not return to me empty. empty. It mm. shall not come mm. back void. Mm. But it shall accomplish what I please. Mm. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Mm. So, my, my elder, j j j so how is Abraham counted righteous? Uh -huh. By having faith on that word. Exactly. By believing and trusting in that word. Mm. And Abraham began to build mm. on that word. Robert, can we have the same faith? Because it's the <laughs> same God who's talking as yeah. we sum up this session. You see, the, this faith was so great when Abraham uh, tells God that uh, seeing that you've not given me mm. a seed, mm -hmm. you see, from the time of at, uh, Genesis 3.15, when God promises a seed that will crush the head of the of serpent, the serpent mm. Every godly generation that uh, passed by, they always were praying that they be the one to bear the seed mm -hmm. who was mm -hmm. Christ. Yes. And so when Abraham tells God that I have no seed, mm -hmm. he believed that could it be me who will bear the Savior of the world. Mm -hmm. But God, you know, salvation is a story. Yes. God knew that mm -hmm. Abraham, I'm giving you a son. Mm -hmm but he's not the seed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, but through that son, the seed yeah. will come. Amen. And so the faith <laughs> that we have, mm -hmm. some things that God has given us, you know, like uh, one person was asking, mm. what happens to a, a person who trusts God that is his shield? Then that person dies in an accident. Mm -hmm. Does the, that promise become void? Mm -hmm. Did God not keep his bargain? God still kept his bargain mm. in that he protected that person and he knew that at this point my servant I want you to sleep mm -hmm. and those promises that he made do you know that all the promises that he has made like, like the grand promise of his second coming mm -hmm. we always wish that we will be there when he, he comes mm -hmm. the second time mm -hmm. but God knows that I want my elder to rest so that I wake him up. Mm -hmm. And if that mm -hmm. is his best way of sustaining you to mm -hmm. go to heaven, yes. he will so do that. Be it. We want to take a short break. But uh, even as we take this short break, my brother, my sister out there who's listening to this, all the promises that were made and uh, where Robert has just stopped, you go and make reference to Matthew 1. You'll sti still see that uh, the way the genealogy of Jesus Christ we're starting from uh, Abraham all the way to the time that Christ is born on earth. Mm. And so Christ, and, and, and uh, I think, uh, Elder, you alluded to this, that actually Abraham was able to see the cross. Mm -hmm. And uh, all this, it passed through many generations, hundreds yes. of years. Yes. But it came to pass. to pass. Whatever God says, mm -hmm. it shall come to pass. We Amen. take a short break. As you think about those things, don't go away. We're coming back. Christ says that before Abraham was, mm. I am. Mm. And so was making the covenant with Abraham. <laughs> Christ. Christ mm. himself. And when he made this covenant, he has us in mind. Mm. That's why the Bible says that he knows the end from, from the, the beginning. beginning. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an analogy of Moses. Go on. Uh, the prophetess of God, Ellen White, says that when Moses went to the mountain, it was Mount Horeb, isn't mm, it? Mm. And God showed him the promised, the promised land. land. It was not just the promised land they, that the Israelites were going to dwell in, yeah. that God showed him. Actually, she says that God showed him the history of the world mm -hmm. until the birth of Jesus. Mm. And he showed him how Jesus was going to be despised and until the end crucified to save the world. Mm. And so when Abraham then is told about the seed that through you, through you and your seed, all the families of the world shall be blessed, mm -hmm. as Elda said, that is a gospel right there. Yes. God is telling him that through you, I bring up a Messiah. Mm. Who through him, all the world we be blessed. Actually, in other words, we, uh, 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 God is saying to Abraham that you are blessed mm -hmm. because of this seed. Yes. Because he is included in mm. that blessing mm. because of the seed. Yeah. Wow. 
And that is because Abraham believed. If we are Abraham's, uh, 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 Galatians 3 uh, verse 8 mm -hmm. and 9, it says, the last part of verse 8, in thee shall all nations be blessed. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we all are repeating nations. that mm. because yes. the Bible repeats that. Mm. And uh, the reason is, it is because it's the biggest uh, promise that and covenant that God makes with his people. Mm, 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 mm. And verse 9, he says, They which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. You're right. And so if we have faith, and, 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 and which blessings are these? I, I think it is important we talk about this blessing. It says that the whole world shall be <coughs> blessed. Mm. The whole family that believes, that has faith, will be blessed together with Abraham. Mm. Which blessings are these? Mm. We've tested these blessings already in the person of Christ mm -hmm. coming to redeem us at the cross. Mm. Right. But there is even a bigger promise awaiting us. Yes. A blessing. The, bre uh, the blessing of heaven. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the eternal home. Eternal home. Yes. And we were talking with Elder here. We are saying that, can you imagine us going to heaven for a thousand years just to honeymoon there? Mm -hmm. And then now we are coming back. And, and, uh, and I think as we are going forward, Elder will mention it. Uh, the promise of the land that God gives us that mm -hmm. Abraham will inherit, together with those of faith, together with Abraham, is the new earth Amen. Mm -hmm. that God is mm -hmm. going to give to those yes. who have accepted Be the first blessing of Jesus mm -hmm. who came to die for us. That makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. because even the canon that was just here, yes. it's, it's not there. It is not there. It's not there. <laughs> Lastly, you can read me uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 11 as Elda comes yes. in to show you that we may not be there when Christ comes. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether God has purposed us to be alive by then. Mm -hmm. yes. But if we are not there, yes we have this <laughs> promise to hold on yes. mm. Chap Hebrews chapter 11 verse 13 verse 13 mm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. it says that these all died in faith mm -hmm. yes not having received the promises mm -hmm. but having seen them afar off yes where assured were assured of them uh -huh. embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on earth makes a lot of sense Elder. That even this canon mm -hmm. that was here on earth, yes. even if they were to enter there, some entered after the time of Joshua, mm -hmm. but it's still they are strangers mm -hmm. because that is not the land. Go on, Elder. <laughs> I can see it coming. <laughs> Take no, it down. I, I, <laughs> in, in fact, my Elder, heaven, heaven is just a bus stop. Eh? It's <laughs> not the promise given to Abraham. Uh -huh. The promise given to Abraham, the, we shall tackle that mm. anyway. Let's it, go. It, 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 it is a new earth, just as we said. But let me say something about faith. Uh, Abraham is counted righteous because of faith. Mm. And, but we need to remember and we need to note that Jesus is the source of all faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Faith has its beginning and end in him. Mm -hmm. It has the beginning in Christ and it has an end in Christ. Mm -hmm. There can be no real faith that does not center in Christ. Mm -hmm. Without Christ, there is no faith. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when Abraham believed in the Lord, he believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. God has never been revealed to man except through who? Through Christ. Yes. John 1, 18 says, No man has seen God at any time. Mm. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, mm. he has declared him. Mm. Christ has mm. declared the Father. Mm. So the fact that Abraham's belief was personal faith in the Lord in the Lord Jesus Christ is further shown by the fact that it was counted unto him for righteousness. Mm. But there is no righteousness except through the faith of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Mm. First Corinthians 1, that says, He that is Christ, is made unto us wisdom and mm. righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Mm. No righteousness will be of any word at the appearing of the Lord except in Philippians 3, 9, mm -hmm. that which is through the faith of Christ, mm. the righteousness which is, which is of God by faith. Yeah, right. Now, but since God himself counted Abraham's faith for righteousness, mm. it is plain fact that this faith was centered in Christ alone, mm. in whom he was made righteous. Right. So, Therefore, this demonstrates that the promise of God to Abraham was through Christ alone. Oh, yes. The seed was that only which is through the faith of, uh, sorry, mm. Abraham's prosperity that was to be as the stars of the number mm. will be the immunable host who wash their robes in the blood of the Lamb. Mm -hmm. The nations were, that were to come from him will be in Revelation 21-24, yes. the nations of, whom, of which are saved. Mm. So, 
in Christ is centered our faith. Mm -hmm. And in Christ is the promise given to Abraham. Mm -hmm. That is why Abraham, the promise included even Abraham. Mm -hmm. And remember in Genesis 3.15, uh, where all this begins, mm -hmm. that in thy seed, no, is it in thy seed? Can no. I put it well? Genesis 3.15. The Bible says, no, just yes. read it. I, just, just and I will put enemies yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. between thee yes. and the woman, yes. Yes. and be between thy seed and mm -hmm. her seed. Yes. It shall bruise thy mm -hmm. head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Remember, this is also a promise given mm -hmm. to Adam, mm -hmm. Eve, and the devil. Yes. It is a promise that even the devil is given a promise that one day, the it seed. will be done. Yes. And it God comes up, up with a plan yeah. to fulfill this promise. Mm -hmm. And Abraham is chosen to be the father of a church that God is sorting up You're for right. this seed to come. You're right. And for the promises to be fulfilled, right. the messianic promise. Mm. I love that because again, as uh, you said, uh, saying earlier, after I think this promise of 3.15 Genesis, yes. that's when the devil also starts now to say, to, 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 to always plan mm. to kill mm. any uh, wherever he's stressing that a seed, this yes. seed that is going to crush him is coming from, yes. he wants to kill. Mm. Kills, I mean, through Cain, Abel is killed, mm. but Seth comes. And there are a number of things that keep coming over and over again. But at the end of the day, I remember, I mean, it gets to a point where now he would want to work together with. But eventually, as God makes his promise, he will actually be crushed. Mm. Allow me so to read uh -huh. this as, just as he uh -huh. comes yes, in. Yes. Matthew 8, 11. Yes. Matthew 8, 11 has something very interesting. Yes. And I say to you mm. that many will come from east and, and west, west and sit down with who? Ab with Abraham, Abraham mm -hmm. Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. Mm. Well, uh, uh, when I was reading that text, it mm. reminds me that we will actually be real people yeah. having real conversations mm. yes. and even interrogating Abraham, mm. even how he even had to raise uh, a knife on his son, the only one whom he thought when began, the seed would come out. So I think this, I mean, I mean the hand mourning is a lot of questions we'll be asking. That eternity yes. will need a bigger brain yeah. to absorb the stories <laughs> that will come forth. Yeah. Go ahead. I just wanted Ella to address us Mm. especially now mm -hmm. that we are living in COVID times mm. and there could be a viewer who has lost a source of income, mm. who is depressed, churches are closed, he doesn't know where to turn to. And somehow the promises of God don't make sense to him. Yeah. And maybe we would like to encourage such a person that just the same way David says that even though I walk in the valley of okay. the shadow of death, death, I shall fear no evil. Even when you are looking forward and seeing darkness, if you really trust in God, mm. God will send ravens the way he did to Elijah, Elijah. and they, they could not be ravens, they could be real people, your way to help you in such a time. And these are the promises I want uh, mm -hmm. our viewer to get hold to and they claim them in and prayer. claim them in prayer yes in the book of isaiah 25 8, mm. 8 the bible says he that is god mm. will swallow up death mm. in victory and the lord shall wipe away tears mm. Amen. that is the same promise repeated in revelation, in revelation. one yes. reading from verse three to five yes you know, the, the act of wiping tears is actually an act of God himself. Mm. And God will always want to explain to you why he allowed you and mm -hmm. us mm. to pass through this COVID period and why he allowed such certain things to happen in our lives. Number two, as we look at, uh, as we pass through these difficult times, if our hope is in the heavenly hope, home, then these things, though they be hard, they look a little bit simple mm, because mm. we are looking at the big, bigger picture. Yep. First, First Corinthians 2, 9 says, when we start thinking about heaven, mm -hmm. he says, no eye had seen, yes. nor he had, yes. neither have entered into the heart of men the things which God has prepared for them that love him. I'm happy and so if that. we love him, mm. 
even though difficulties are right now, yes. they have been there. Uh, the Bible says they are not the temptation that has come out unto you. That, yes. that is not normal. Yeah. That <coughs> even Solomon repeats by saying that nothing is new. Lastly, the earth. John says mm. in John 14, 1, the verse that we love, let not your heart be troubled. Be troubled. Mm. Believe in God, mm -hmm. believe also mm -hmm. in me. That is Jesus, mm. because he has gone to prepare a place for us. Wow. My brother, my sister, I, I, I thank you for that. Because actually, in as much as we're talking about these promises in the times of Abraham, we are speaking to an audience and ourselves who are living now. And so we would want to see what is it that we can also uh, claim to. And um, uh, Elders, you make your conclusion on that. I want to say that uh, verse number 15 and 16 of Hebrews chapter 11 he says, and truly, if they had called to mind, no, no, verse 16, but now they desire a better, mm. that is, a heavenly country. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. Amen. And God has prepared a city for us. Mm. These people died a long, long time ago. Mm. But the same Christ who was before Abraham, went to prepare a place for you mm. and for me. Yeah, yeah. So even as we struggle here on earth today mm. with these uncertainties, loss of jobs, COVID, our pe people are sick and others have died and many things. You talked of the promises and it took me back to the times of Israelites when uh, God has rescued them from Egypt and uh, they're seeing mountains on both sides, yeah. they're seeing uh, the, uh, uh, Red, there's, uh, sea. Red Sea, and they're seeing the Egyptians pursuing, mm. but God still mm. made a way Amen. and he rescued them. Mm. God will make a way. Mm. Elder, make your closing comments on this segment as we take a break. S S Second Corinthians 1.20, mm. for all the promises of God in him are yes, mm. and uh -huh. in him, amen. amen. To the glory of God through us. Mm. Yes. And I love the way Revelation 3, uh -huh. Revelation 3.14, yes. the last word, and of course, Christ is the Amen. Mm. He is the end, he is the beginning, he is the Alpha and, and the Omega. omega. Mm. Believe in his word. Let's build on his word, yes. just the way Abraham built on, on, on the word of on God. The word of God. Mm. So my brother, my sister, we take a short break once again. So, But when we come back, we will be uh, uh, finishing by saying is that God indeed, just as he made the name of Abraham great, it will make yours great also, even while you're on earth. Yes, yes for a purpose, like mm -hmm. he did it to Abraham mm -hmm. for a particular purpose. Mm -hmm. So in all these things, let's always learn to get to scratch a little deeper. What is the purpose of God mm -hmm. in taking me through this? Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of God with this promise? What does he want me to do? What does he want me to know? How does he want me to conduct himself? Mm -hmm. Because he's, the sh he's a shield, mm -hmm. he will keep his part of the promise. Amen. Yes. See you in a bit. Amen. Welcome back as we um, wind up our discussion and even as we continue to journey through the book of uh, Genesis, but most importantly, looking at the lessons that we can draw uh, from these promises of God to our lives today, you and I, even as we are on this earth. I, I draw your attention to the book of Genesis chapter 12 once again, whereby God says, Now the Lord said to, Abra to Abram, at this time he has not changed his name, right? Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. And verse number two, I will bless you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, and mm -hmm. you shall be a blessing. Mm -hmm. Now, three things mentioned, or a number of things in verse 2, that Abraham, God is saying to you as an individual, I will make out of you a great nation, and I will bless you. Then I will make your name great, and you then shall be a blessing. Now, uh, Elder Omar, um, this man, I mean, this man, Abraham, is receiving uh, so many promises. I mean, there's this a favor that he has gotten in God, mm -hmm. that he gets a lot of, lot of promises. But this promise is coming at the time then, uh, uh, and, and, and of course we know, the, the, as we have read in other passages of the scripture, that there are all these other 
sort of uh, um, when, when Abraham has as a wife, he has no children, he's getting old, and God is talking about big things mm -hmm. like a nation and, and, and a great name, all these things. How can these things, Elder, make sense to us today? But of course, streaming from how they made sense to Abraham that time, starting with a great nation. Twofold. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, these promises, as they were given to Abraham, of course, they, they pointed out to the children of Israel uh -huh. when they are coming from captivity from Egypt to the promised land, mm. Canaan. And uh, they, of course, they became a great nation. And Abraham's name became great, mm -hmm. and uh, that of Isaac and Jacob. God himself calls himself the God of Abraham, Jack, uh, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. But in the real sense, uh, they were these promises really for Abraham or for someone else? Mm -hmm. And as we read this, you see that at the very onset, we see that this promise to Abraham was a promise to who? To Christ mm -hmm. himself. Mm -hmm. It was the promise to Jesus Christ. And uh, the first is in the words of Jesus. Go to John 5, verse 39. Mm -hmm. and, and Christ says in this John 4, 5, 5, 39, okay. you search the scriptures mm -hmm. because you think that in them you yeah. have eternal yeah. life. Mm -hmm. yeah. And these are they which bear witness of who? Mm -hmm. Of me. 46 of that John 5. Yes. If you believed Moses, you also believe me. In me. For he wrote of me. me. 47. But you believe not his writings. How shall you believe the words? Mm. The scriptures. And, and you see when Christ is quoting this, he was quoting the Old Testament. Uh -huh. Second Timothy 3.15. And the last part says, which is in Christ Jesus, the mm. promises and, and the word. So these promises pointed out to Christ. Yes. And Christ well, of course, at the end of it all, remember the image mm. in Daniel chapter 2, and the end of it all, when the stone comes and does what? Mm -hmm. And hits are the clay and the feet, and then the mm -hmm. wind comes and does what? Mm -hmm. It takes away, and the stone become and uh, became bigger and, and filled there. All over the yes. kingdom of God, a yes. great nation is, is coming, is established in the world. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Robert. Take it from there also, as you, um, if you have a comment on the great nation, but most importantly, we also dwell on the last part, second last part of that, how he's going to make his name mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Because we know mm -hmm. that, um, not we, know, we don't want to assume that everyone knows, eventually we see even the change of that name mm -hmm. from Abraham to Abraham, and what comes thereafter. Uh, uh, let me start with the great nation. Go you on. see, Mm -hmm. When God makes an agreement, every blessing, let me say this, way, every blessing of God has an underlying condition mm -hmm. that you must be able to fulfill on your part mm -hmm. to partake of that promise. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that, that comes out of, uh, of a sil um, silver platter, plate. Now, therefore, he says, if... if just let me take you to the uh, children of Israel Go in, in Exodus 19.5. He tells them, now therefore, if you will keep my voice, that is the condition, mm -hmm. and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure yes. unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. That was the intention of God, that the Israelites were to be his peculiar treasure mm -hmm. above every other nation on the earth. But then we realize what happened. You know, w when we started, we said that God always keeps his part of the bargain. Mm -hmm. But we realize what happened with that lineage when it reached, uh, with the Israelites, when it reached the time of uh, Solomon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He decided to marry a lot of wives. Yeah. And when he died, his son, when the northern kingdoms told him, how will you be treating us? Because your mm -hmm. father was a little bit harsh on us. He said, if you, uh, my father was giving you one st uh, stripe, I'll be giving you tenfold. <laughs> 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 and they divided. Yeah. And that yes. is how the lineage of Christ almost got lost. Mm. But then God comes with a promise in the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. He tells them that even though the northern Israel, uh, the northern Israel uh, uh, tribes have been, you know, taken to captive and they are almost lost, he gives them a promise in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 3. He tells them and the Gentiles will shall come. I'm reading the, the last part. Mm -hmm. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. Now we know which is the light, isn't mm -hmm. it? The word of God from yes. uh, 119, 105 of, uh, of Psalms. Psalms. They shall come to thy light, mm -hmm. and the kings to thy brightness. You're right. God had set the Israelites in that 
they will shine to the world and the world was to come to them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but when the israelites failed to uh, you know keep their part of the bargain now jesus comes to us as the church of god he tells us in matthew 28 19 the verse that we, mm -hmm. we love go ye there therefore now the we are not mm -hmm. to sit so that nations should come to us uh, uh, it we is are us to go. to go to the nations you're right and it tells us an interesting thing teach mm -hmm. after teaching baptize mm -hmm. uh, it is and interesting, it is interesting um, that god did not say preach <laughs> it teach. is teach. teach teach now when god saw that the israelites have not kept the covenant yes he has pulled up pulled up a movement yes from 1844 and i hope i can make this clear mm -hmm. a movement that god wants to use in this world to show forth the light and he has given us a peculiar message mm -hmm. the three angels message You're right to teach unto the world that is in darkness that's why he calls us in is it second peter uh first peter 2 9 that you are a peculiar people, peculiar people. a royal, a priest royal priesthood yes, yes. and what else mm -hmm. let's just read it yeah when he calls that movement yes there are some things that this movement mm -hmm. has to keep on their part yep. so that God keeps his part of the bargain of coming to take these people home mm -hmm. because they've been prepared for his second return. First Peter 2 9. Yes. But you are a chosen generation, mm -hmm. uh -huh. a royal priesthood, yes. mm -hmm. a holy nation, a holy mm -hmm. nation, his own special people, yes. that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the question is, mm -hmm. as, as I conclude this, when you are part of this movement, mm -hmm. a peculiar people, which God himself calls, calls a holy nation, yes. mm -hmm. are your works mm -hmm. and your words, can you consider them holy if you are yeah. part of In, in fact, on that, that yes. question, I think that is even what troubled God more. Yes. Because he has chosen Israel, even tells them, not that you are the biggest, yeah. whatever, you uh -huh. were just... <laughs> a tiny... Yes, yes, yes. But I chose you because of love so mm -hmm. that you can also, uh, like the light you're talking about, mm -hmm. illuminate to the rest. Yes. Yes. But one, I mean, day after day, the Israelites kept um not keeping their part of the promise not even illuminating the light mm -hmm. and so it becomes well i'm borrowing that so that then i challenge this new movement yes. not to be like the israelite that was mm -hmm. but then be something else so that we are able to fulfill the great commission mm -hmm. so that the light that this movement has mm -hmm. can be illuminated to the world and they will be able uh, uh, the world will be able to see God. Mm -hmm. And you see, Elder, what you said, when that big stone is filling the entire earth and the kingdom is established, so that the majority of people um, will be able to make part of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. And because to expand, in fact, uh, I always say that we must uh, depopulate the kingdom of the devil. Mm -hmm and populate uh -huh. the kingdom of god exactly. so and you see that's what the, the devil does not want mm. yeah. he wants just to always mm. populate his mm. but by illuminating this light mm. by being by proclaiming the praises of god we will be depopulating the kingdom of the devil mm. and increasing or the populating the kingdom of god because mm -hmm. uh, that is the great commission that we now have elder mm. god Yes, and, and something else when, Ab when God tells uh, Abraham that I will make your name great. Mm. You know, in what sense? Yeah, exactly. I mean, in what sense does we our names become great? Mm -hmm. You know, from the m human mind perspective, a person's uh, name become, becomes great mm -hmm. in terms maybe of wealth, mm -hmm. exactly. things that he has done. Mm -hmm. But was this, is this what God meant? No. How did Abraham's name become, become great? great? Mm -hmm. That's when the Lord said to Abraham, that will make his name great. Mm. He was surely not talking about it in the same way the world talks about someone having mm. a great name. What makes a name great in the eyes of God is character, mm. faith, mm -hmm. obedience, right. humility, and love for others. Mm. Traits that might often be respected in the world but are not usually the factors the world will deem as making someone's name great. Mm -hmm. And so, through Abraham, should also our names become great. 
but great in where? Mm -hmm. In the heavenly books. Amen. Right. Are we counted righteous mm. in heaven? Mm. Elder, that reminds me, and I think this is good for the view and us, mm. that here on earth, uh, your name, of course, is made great by how much, maybe if you are in top 500 fortune companies, mm -hmm. if you are uh, maybe supplying a certain thing that maybe you're the only one mm -hmm. uh, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Our street is named after you. Yes. But here, it's about even how many souls that you've mm -hmm. won. Mm -hmm. Depending, and you see, for, for us to get the crown, uh, the stars in yeah. Daniel 12, your name continues to be great mm -hmm. as to how many people you're bringing to the kingdom. I would say that. So that the more you continue to preach, remember like the apostles, mm -hmm. their name becomes great because every time they're out there preaching, 3,000 are mm. added, mm. 4,000 are added, 5,000 are added. The number is added to the fold of God. That will indeed make your name great. Mm. And also even among the nations, when it's being discussed, remember God is behind this name. And when God is behind that name, who is greater than God? None, None. nothing. Mm -hmm. And so our peculiar, the, borrowing the part of the movement, mm. this movement is great, mm. for God indeed is with it, and our name transcends um, uh, generations as it continues to preach and bear the gospel of truth. Mm -hmm. Now let's make our concluding remarks mm -hmm. and appeal, um, and maybe there's a, a special message that we want to pass uh, to the viewer using this camera. The Bible says that, and Abraham believed God, mm -hmm. and it was counted to him righteousness. righteousness. Christ also came and told us that when whoever wants to be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. must be the servant, yes. must be willing to serve. Mm -hmm. uh, the question you asked earlier is that, what, why was God doing Abraham this favor? Mm. You know, Abraham did not go and tell God that now I want to be a great nation. Mm -hmm. just I want him. my name to be great. He, called him. he just called him and God, uh, Abraham believed God. Mm. And that is our part, mm. having faith in God. You're right. You see, the part of greatness, uh, I, I just remember the story, uh, someone was telling us that uh, sometimes even the tithe that you give to God, you may actually not enjoy the, the, the bigger blessing. Of course, God will bless you, will continue mm. providing for you. You may not enjoy the bigger blessing, but those blessings, your children, Mm. And your children's children mm. will actually reap them. You're right. You may not reap them as a person right yes. now. And therefore, you, uh, uh, my concluding remarks are this. That our part as Christians is to <coughs> believe God and to do his will. Uh, uh, Paul t tells us in the book of First uh, uh, Corinthians 4.9 that we've ma been made a spectacle unto the world. Mm. You know a spectacle? something that everyone looks unto. Yes. That's how we've been met. Uh -huh. And so, therefore, every time in our lives that we don't glorify God, the people are looking. A actually, that, that verse is supported in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Mm. Paul says that seeing now that we are surrounding with, we are surrounded with such a great uh, cloud of witnesses. Yes. Those are witnesses. They may not be the Abrahams and but the world is always looking at an Adventist, mm. the person who God has called from the darkness unto his marvelous light. How are you living? Mm -hmm. You may not know, but surely there's somebody who is looking at you as an Adventist. Right. Uh, the other day Elder was telling me that uh, he was surprised in his work when he was called Elder. Mm. How did these people know? Mm -hmm. Meaning that these people have been watching mm -hmm. him, how he carries himself. You're right. That is what happened to the Israelites. And that is what happening uh, to us, Elder, that the world is always watching us. What are we doing? Mm -hmm. What are we saying? Mm. Every time we go astray, every time we fall into sin, there's somebody you are pulling together with you to hell. You're mm -hmm. right. I want to pray that we will be like Job, mm -hmm. that God will bear witness to us. Have you seen my servant, Elder Amen. Fifth, wow. a Amen. faithful servant? Amen. 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 Elder, kindly, I don't have anything to add on that. And I want that question to be asked <laughs> <laughs> of me <laughs> and, of course, us all. Galatians 3, yes. verse 13 and 14, yes. it says, Christ has redeemed us mm. from the curse of the law, mm -hmm. having become a curse for us. Mm -hmm. For it is written, 
cursed is everyone who, who hangs on, on a tree. tree. And I love 14. Mm. That the blessing of Abraham mm. might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, mm. that we might receive the promise of the Spirit mm. through faith. Mm. Right. What does that mean? That we must always pray in mind and put it that um, the promises that uh, were made to Abraham, we can only get them through the cross of Christ. Mm. And we should believe in the word of God right. and should build on the word of God. Right. And our faith should be based on the word of God. Right. Amen. If we do that, be assured we shall inherit the land that uh -huh. Abraham has promised exactly. the new earth. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. We, we, we have to break it there, but also invite you, my brother, my sister, uh, that this um, uh, uh, episode, you'll find it even on the YouTube channel. That's a moment at Jesus' feet. Go there, search for it. you find it. Watch and also listen and also make reference to your scripture, uh, to your Bible. Share with your friends also and keep and stay tuned uh, to HCK, especially during this time of COVID when there is all this negative news all over. Here on Hope Channel, you'll get all the blessings by getting uh, the hope and the sermons that are being preached and, of course, such messages that are being shared. Study your Bible and you'll be one of those that shall inherit the new earth. Amen. May God bless you till we meet next time. For now, Elder, I invite you to do a closing prayer. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your word. Lord, I pray that you plant your word in our hearts. Mm prepare our hearts and prepare our minds and prepare our character for thy soon return, Lord. Be with us and guide us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, viewer. Stay tuned again uh, in this channel and others. And uh, yes, we continue to invite you. If you have comments when you're on our <coughs> social media pages, you can always make a comment and we will reach out to you. Because there are many who have actually borne witness that they have uh, they have received Christ yeah. by just staying tuned into this channel during this period of COVID. Amen. God bless you till then. Amen.